and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be showing you how to turn an old bed sheet into a harvest half apron. As you guys know, when it comes to DIY and crafting, I really like to make things that are useful that I'm going to be using in my everyday life. So I've known for a while that I wanted to make an apron because the ones that I like online are pretty expensive. I like a lot of the linen aprons and right now they're just not in my price range. But something I did have was um, this top sheet that I wasn't using. I was looking through my fabric stash and decided it would make a really nice apron. And I really wanted to customize it and make it a harvest apron but also an apron that can be used for cooking and that's the great thing about making stuff yourself is you can really customize it to exactly what you want and I was able to make a nice length that I like and pocket size that worked perfectly for me. This is just going to be a basic project. You really don't need much. If you don't have any spare top sheets lying around like I did, you can easily go to the thrift store and find some. You could also use something like a linen tablecloth if you're lucky enough to find something like that at the thrift store. So after you have your material, you're just going to need a thread to kind of match the color of your material. I just used white thread. Um, it blends in very nicely with the gray and white of this pattern. Then you're gonna need a measuring tape, something to kind of like mark your material with, pins, sewing machine, some fabric scissors, and that's really it. That is all you're gonna need. So if you would like to learn how to make your own harvest half apron, then just keep on watching. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to measure and cut your four pieces for this pattern. So you're going to need one main piece. For me, I made that piece 36 inches by 30 inches and just adjust it to your waist measurement. The next piece you wanna measure and cut out is the pocket and for this I did 30 inches by 12 inches and then you're going to need two pieces for these straps each measuring 38 inches by 5 inches so once you have all of your pieces cut out and measured accordingly you can get started on assembling the apron the first thing you're going to want to do is fold these strap pieces in half right sides facing together and you're going to want to sew along the long edge and then one of the short edges and you want to sew at a diagonal on the one end so that when your apron is finished it creates a nice pointed end instead of a straight end. That was kind of a personal design choice though so if you want it to just be flat you can leave it flat. sure to leave one of these smaller sides unsewn so you can flip the strap right side out and that is going to be our next step after you've sewn both of the straps closed you're going to want to flip them right side out the straps are big enough that you can just do this by hand you don't really need a tool to do this but you can use um, a pen or something to help like turn the straps Once 
Once you have the straps turned right side out, I just top stitched along the seam edge is just so that the straps would lay nice and flat. The next step is to take your main apron piece and fold it in half with right sides facing together. And then you want to sandwich your straps inside this main piece. You want to take the edge of the strap and match it up with the edge of the apron piece but with the strap kind of inside the apron and they will be attached like this and the seam will be inside the apron so in order to keep everything together you're going to want to pin along all the edges make sure you pin the straps in place as well and then just sew all the way around making sure to leave an opening so that you can turn the apron right sides out i just left a little like three inch wide opening at the bottom so that I could easily sew it up um, when I top stitch around. After you've sewn the apron together and the straps inside, you're going to want to flip everything right side out. And at this point, you can give the apron a good ironing. I typically don't iron my projects when they're this simple, but feel free to if you want like a nice crisp edge. And then you're going to top stitch around the whole apron except on the folded edge and be sure to kind of fold in and tuck in that opening you had and sew that closed as well when you're top stitching around. The next step is to hem the pocket. So in order to do this, you're just gonna wanna fold along whatever you want to be the top edge. Just fold it down and sew along that top edge to create a hemmed nice and clean edge. Then you're gonna wanna place the pocket on the main piece, making sure that that hemmed edge is on top and you're gonna want to fold all the edges under and pin it in place on top of the main piece of your apron. Then you just have to sew along the three sides of the pocket piece, securing it in place. And the last and final step is to decide where you want your pockets to be, how big you want them to be. I measured out the pocket to be about six inches and then I left the rest of the apron as one big pocket serving as the harvest apron but you can customize your pocket sizes to whatever you would like you can do one pocket two pockets three pockets four however many you would like after that all that's left to do is trim off any remaining thread pieces give it an iron you can throw it in the wash and you will have completed your harvest half apron. I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more more sewing or DIY tutorials, I will link my playlist in the cards. And you can let me know in the comments if you have any requests for future projects. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video.